Hi, I'm John Dobis here with Harry Domash. Harry is the editor of the Dividend Detective Newsletter. Harry, thanks for taking a minute to uh, chat. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, now you know, uh, you were talking to me a little bit earlier about uh, a dividend capture strategy and some research that you've done going back to about 2009. Uh, outline what this dividend capture strategy is in the case of companies that declare special dividends, not just the regular quarterlies, but special dividends. Okay, well what's happened is, uh, as you, most people don't realize, you only have to own a stock for one day to collect the dividend. Sure. Own it on the day before the ex dividend date. And so, for a long time, people have been attempting to do, to implement what are called dividend capture strategies, where they uh, buy a stock after the uh, dividend's been announced, and then they sell it sometime later, usually uh, after the ex-dividend date, and they try to capture the dividend, meaning they try to sell the stock for what they uh, paid for it or more, mm -hmm. but, in, but they also collected the dividend. And these strategies are famous for not working very well. <laughs> and, and even though I have a lot of subscribers who follow them, I ask them how they do it, they all have different ways of, of doing it. And in essence, they all buy before the dividend and they sell when they're ahead. But I've never been able to implement it. So now, all things equal, and things aren't always equal, or things are never equal, yeah. but shouldn't the stock price go down by the amount of the, of the dividend on, after the X date, yes. or on the X date? In theory, a, doc, a stock should go down by the dividend amount when it opens on the X dividend right. date. In practice, there's all sorts of other factors that influence the share right. price, what's going on in the market and that company. So they do, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, sometimes they even go up on that day. But it's hard to predict because you don't know what's going to happen. So your, your, your special dividend capture strategy, how does that work? Well, what happened is, um, I study a lot of different dividends. I have a database that goes back to late 2009 on all special dividend announcements. And special dividends are better candidates than regular dividends because they're bigger. Okay. Usually a special dividend could be a few dollars and it's usually could be five, 10% of the stock price where regular dividends are maybe 1% of the stock price. So what I did is I took all this data and I analyzed what would happen if you bought certain dates and sold on certain dates. Okay. And I found out that the best strategy is to stick with stocks that are paying at least two dollars a share in dividend, and they're and you buy them either on the announced date. That's hard to do because sometimes that's after the close, right. or on the first day after. Or you could still make money on the if you buy it on the second day after the announced date. But the trick is you sell it when, not after they paid the dividend, you sell it the day before the ex-dividend day. And I know that's counterintuitive. So why would you sell you it? You don't actually capture the dividend. You haven't gotten the dividend. Because what happens, if you look at it, stock prices go up after the announcement. And they keep drifting up until the ex-dividend date. And then on the ex-dividend date, they go down by who knows how much. Sometimes it's less than the dividend, sometimes it's more than so the dividend. So a stock's more likely to go down on the ex-dividend date for a special dividend because it's so massive? It's so big. And so rather than wait and see what it's going to do on the ex-dividend day, you buy it the day before. And if you do this and you buy on the day after the announcement, you're talking about 3% to 4% average return on each trade. If you can do 10 or 20 of these trades a year, you're talking about real money. There. So check out your special dividends and uh, give Harry's strategy a shot.